Let me go ahead and take care of them. Uh oh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I am literally the worst grenade thrower. Let's get that right in there. It's a good thing I have a few attempts. Time to test out our new shotgun, too. As you can see down there, there's the other bunker we're gonna go visit this episode. Oh crap. Quickly eat a waffle. Oh crap. That's not good. Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Unturned. In the last episode, we went over there and we did all of, um, well, a few challenges. So, in today's episode, we're going to be heading back to our base, of course, and doing some more challenges. Now, on my way back to base, I'm going to have to recover our tank because in order to complete one of the challenges, I got the tank stuck in a bit of a mess. And we also discovered that we can use the, um, we can get money and buy the, the things we need to make our turrets. So instead of going into the dead zone every episode, I can actually just do some quests, get a little richer, and then get what I need. So if you're actually looking for money in this game, you can easily pick up keys. Oh, hey, a floor. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that, but, um, oh, whoa, oh, okay. Um, yeah, what I'm looking for here is some more stuff we can use to make, oh, there we go, so that's a thing we need. If you haven't gone to the dead zone yet, once you get the red and blue key cards, you can get the best military loot available. Now, I do recommend getting the, um, I think it's the white key card first. Uh, don't quote me on that because I don't really remember which key cards you need. Ooh, more ammo. Um, but basically, if you can get one, one of the ones that gives you access to, um, what's it called? Uh, the, the components and things that you can get, then you're basically able to keep going back, which is how we've been able to go to the dead zone twice. All right, so I see a vehicle here, and I need to get it because it's super fast. But I really don't think I can with all these zombies around. I think I'll have to lure them out. Ooh, almost baited the wrong one there. If I go to this side, they should all come right over. And I should be able to just shoot them. There we go. We won't use any extra ammo for them. Ah, oh, crap. These guys are still here. Take them out. And it looks like our cloth has grown here. Wonderful. Now we should be able to level up a bit, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Let's craft all of those. Let's replant our cloth right outside our front gate. Now, I think we could actually use this as, like, a defense, because these are pretty tall bushes. Like, if you planted these around your base, you could camouflage it, in theory, with the rest of the environment. Uh, actually, I don't... don't yeah, I don't think that's actually possible, but maybe if you really wanted to try that, uh, you could. Alright, welcome back to the base. Oh yes, I got some new things to place down. Alright, I believe it is time for us to hang our weapons on the wall, because we're going to be doing a bit of a switch today. We're going to be using the... Um, the shotgun, the auto shotgun, of course. Now, it has some special attachment features, which we can go over real quick. Um, a scope and a barrel are available. Let's see how well it fires. Okay, not too bad on the recoil. Alright, so I've got us geared up a bit. Um, I'll show you guys what I've done to my shotgun. I've got a red dot sight on it. I have a extension to the barrel, because why not? As you can see, this is a very effective weapon at long range now. How accurate was that? It's like... Yeah, most of the bullets hit this one spot, so this thing's actually... Uh, never mind. They're like on this side, right down on the wheel, all, all over it. But don't worry, because um, it won't be an issue. Alright, let's fuel that up, and let's get ready to go on our adventure today. So, our first stop is going to be at the gas station, of course, because I finished 
one of my things that I had to do. Oh, wait, no. We should go to the, um... Yeah, let's go collect some keys first before we go there. Yeah, I've alerted all the zombies in this area, so I think I need to throw some grenades in that building. Let me go ahead and take care of them. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I am literally the worst grenade thrower. Let's get that right in there. It's a good thing I have a few attempts. Alright, so the first key location, which I actually got the other one wrong, I got a little confused there. But the first key location is these trains. Now these trains have a tendency to spawn a lot here. Last time I was here I found like three because... Probably because my spawn settings are like ridiculous for pretty much everything. Zombies included. Now, this is a little dangerous because we don't really have a weapon meant to kill in close quarters. So I think I will have to just shoot him. Just walk right through, and they'll just go to where I last was. It doesn't seem like we got any keys this time, unfortunately. Okay, and we got a ton of zombies just crawling straight through the train. Oh, crap! No, 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 I'm gonna die. Uh, that's not good, that's not good. Let me take care of these guys first. Then, heal! Healing. Yes, good. I had one of these on me. This from when we went to the dead zone. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this is, but I just found this right here. Jeff. What? What? Oh, okay. I thought that was going to explode because it looks like a bomb. Anyway, I decided the quickest way for us to get to the next location is just to jump right off here with our parachute. And let's glide over to the prison. Now this one's a little hard to get because if you're not trying to fight your way through zombies, then um, yeah, you'll run into this. Now it's a good thing there's a few entrances into the prison. There's these windows here which we can, um, if we're lucky we'll find our way in through one of these sides. Hopefully, yep, there we go. Now it's all about being smart about it. So, if we jump over this, we avoid those sensors, and then we run into this guy. Now, he's an issue, and in order to deal with him, I think we could... I don't want to mess with him, so I think I'll just crawl around, see if I can get past him. Which, that worked, apparently. Okay, now in one of these cells, you can find a ton of keys. Probably not that one. It's a ranger spawn there. Uh, this one over here. Oh, and... Oh my gosh. Is this the best spawn location? Because I don't remember them spawning in all of these cells. Maybe there is going to be a few in each cell? We have to go around now and check because I don't remember them spawning everywhere like this. It does not look like it. So let's go ahead and leave through the way we came. Alright, time to test out our new shotgun, too. Oh my gosh, this thing is epic. Oh. Okay, this will be handy now. Wait. What? <laughs> they can't pathfind over this. What is this? Oh, can I just stand on this and, like, cheese the system? Will this fool them? Oh my gosh, this is gr Oh, it's it's fast. Okay. It's a good thing we're getting a ton of the- Ooh, it's loud too. Oh crap, get out of here. What the heck? Shotgun shells. Oh. Oh, it can just take straight shotgun shells? This thing is amazing. Oh crap. Yeah, I just shot a mega zombie thinking it was a normal flamer zombie. And, uh, yeah, he's pretty mad. He's chasing me. So I'm gonna just run down this hill, and hopefully I'll be out of his range at some point. And he's still chasing me through the woods, everywhere. Like, how far will he chase me across this map? Do I have to get out of the the city? Will he keep following me? This is, this is intense now. Alright, so in order to pull this one off, you just need a chainsaw or a parachute which you can use those rocks to jump off of. 
Now, in my case, I I use the parachute because it's more effective. No, not the, the. I use the chainsaw. It's more effective. We can just see easily get in there. Now, this is where the tank usually spawns. So, if it's your first time being here, you could leave the tank here and use it to farm keys, which is what we're doing right now. Actually, never mind. You don't even need a vehicle for this one. You just need to jump on the barrels over there, onto this, and then onto here. And if you if you can't do that for some reason, then uh, don't worry, because you can just use the tank. Now we have some keys. Okay, there we go. That's at least forty thousand Nas, I think. All right now, another location you can find keys is in this building here. And I hear a fire mega zombie, which is not good. He's in this room where the keys don't spawn. Let's sneak on by. Hopefully the keys don't spawn in there. I believe they spawn in one of the adjacent rooms. So we'll have to be careful here. Oh wait. It's in the next house, isn't it? Just avoid him. Just sneaky our way by. There we go. The clock will be ticking in this room. Now, here is the keys. You can find a total of three in every of these places that I've been. Um, what is this clock doing? Oop, just go ahead and leave. Alright, so we found most of the keys. The next place is by the prison. Alright, so if you're looking for the green key, which I was in the last episode, you can find it here. Now, don't mind these radioactive symbols, it's perfectly safe to go in here. I have barely any filter left, so I wouldn't be going in here if I did not. Well, actually, I, I, I wouldn't be going in, in here if I didn't know it was safe. <laughs> Alright, we got all of the keys. Are those the... what are these ones? Are the, the room three keys. Okay, those aren't the green ones, but anyway. So yeah, we have all of the keys to sell now. It's time to head over to the gas station. I guess we'll take this car that I left here in an earlier episode. And in the last episode, I did find the, um... This is the worst car. I, I don't understand why. Why do cars have to be made so that way they wobble on off-road? <laughs> uh, okay. So up over this way, we'll find it. Because Bunker F is a pretty big bunker. And from what I've heard, at least, it's a big bunker. Oh, I think we found it. Well, let's just do a backflip. There we go. Let's take a look inside Bunker F. Don't mind that our car is just flipping there. Ooh, a cave bunker. Is there another? Oh, yep. Now, this is a decent bunker, isn't it? Oh, okay, actually, wait, what's up there? Right, can we go up into that? Now, this may be a good bunker if you have a few players, like maybe three or four. You can set up some turrets and things. Maybe you could easily fortify the outside of this base. You wouldn't even need to build a big structure like we're doing over at the car garage. I cannot seem to find that air vent where that goes. Um... So I'll probably make a ladder real quick. Aha, so the upper level, if I turn on my night vision, you can kind of tell. It doesn't actually go anywhere. It just stops up there. And I don't think you can get past that mesh. So, overall, this is a pretty small bunker. So maybe, actually, no, that room is pretty big. You could easily use this room here. Like, set up some floors, maybe. You could probably build it all out of safes if you wanted to. Because I know that this is probably not ground. Of course, you could build the floors. Okay, no. Definitely don't think that's possible. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm a bit ahead of it, but okay. Welcome. Okay, what do we have here? Just everything is usual. We have this pig cannon. Oh, wonderful, absolutely lovely. We have made this a wonderful landscape here. Now, how is Mr. Rain White doing? Okay, we can only say goodbye. Okay, um... 
Oh, what? I've completed your challenge. Uh, maybe I did not complete his challenge. Let me see on the information. Quests, Fisher 1. We need two grenades. Oh, crap. I got rid of my grenades. Well, at least we can go ahead and sell him some keys. Let's go ahead and do this. As you can see, we have quite a few of these keys, which are worth a thousand Nas each. So if I sell these, I get one thousand Nas back from this, which is enough. So think of this. Every two thousand Nas gets me a single... What's it called? A single... Oh. Oh, he gives us... Okay, those that's what those are for. Those are money. Oh, this is the one. So, 2,000 Nas for one of these circuit boards. We have three now. So we can make, um... Let's see what we can craft with three. Probably a Devastator, if I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, yes. We can craft three Devastators now. Which is going to be super helpful for the Horde Beacon. Alright, so I also found where you can buy some interesting weapons and things. Let's see what these guys have. These are military items. They're a bit different from your normal items, of course. Slightly different in the terms of color. This guy is selling your ranger items, your ranger stocks, all kinds of things like that. And this guy is just selling the... Barrels, I believe. Barrels, scopes, normal looking items. So, this is an interesting area if you're looking for that. Okay, I just found the trade of the century. Apparently, he is selling a drill, which we must get this now. It costs 3,000 Nas, and we need like 6,000 to get all of our other stuff. We need three more of those things. So, and as you can see down there, there's the other bunker we're going to go visit this episode. Oh, crap. Quickly eat a waffle. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's not good. Right, so this is the bunker over here. This is Bunker D. Now, this is a small bunker. It's probably good for about one person. Definitely. We should have set up our base here. It's pretty hidden, too. Now, it's more likely to be found because you might accidentally walk into this field looking at the loot or coming off that island. So, I wouldn't recommend this as a base, but, I mean, if, if that island weren't there, this would be very hidden to and very hard to find. Because usually, you don't go into the fields often, and, uh, yeah. Now, I had a hard time finding this one because I was using guides that were in Polish. Apparently, there's also English guides, too. But, uh... Yeah, apparently all my sources led me to Polish guides, because why not? Why not? Um, it's it's fine. I, I mean, I did figure out that keys were like Kluxa or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't speak Polish. Anyway, in the next episode, I plan on crafting the... What are they called? Devastator turret bases. And then we can go set those up in the Horde Zone. Now, we won't be able to do a horde beacon until, like, three episodes from now, at least. So, we're getting a good start. I also need to know if these will use power once I set them up. Because, I, I don't... Or ammunition as well. I don't really have a plan to, like... Yeah, I just don't know much about the turrets in this map. So, if you've enjoyed today's episode, if you have any suggestions you can leave those in the comment section down below or if you have any you know comments do that as well um also if you've enjoyed this episode you can like and subscribe it helps out the channel quite a bit and i'll see you guys next time goodbye